What's up, y'all? It's Big Roth TV. I'm back with another video, this time from inside of the Chevy Bolt. All right. Now, I wanted to make a real quick video about this situation because yesterday I drove about maybe 45 minutes away from where I'm at. I went to Lawton, Oklahoma, and they had a charge point charge station there. And I said, you know what, I'll go ahead and top up before I head back home. So I went to the charge point charge station and they had a DC fast charger for charge point and then they had like a regular uh, level two charger. And I connected to the fast charger and it would not work. I put in my charge point information, I made an account, I did everything. I already had the app, I just had never made an account. And it would not work. It just would not work. It would not connect, it wouldn't charge my card, it wouldn't do anything. So I was like, let me see if the level two will work. So I disconnected the DC fast charger and then I went to the uh, level two. Level two connects instantly. All right, which is cool, that's fine, but I didn't particularly have level two charging time at that moment. I, I needed to just quickly do the fast charger and then go on about my business. So for those that don't know what I'm talking about, level two, the, the like for the uh, EVs, uh, DC fast charger is the fastest one, All right? Depending on the model that you have, you can either get you know, 70 miles in like 15 minutes or, you know, completely charged in like an hour. It, it just kind of depends based off of your vehicle and the, the fast charger, right? Level two is more so better for charging overnight. You can get a full charge in like seven and eight, seven to eight hours, uh, depending on your charge level or your state of charge, how much you have available at the time, like the mileage that you have left. And then a level one charger is like the slowest one that usually takes days to get a full charge. All right. So I have a level one at home and it's good to like top off if you've been riding around town and you just need to top off like 40 miles real quick. A level one is good for that. But uh, so the, the DC fast charger for charge point there just would not connect. Where I'm at right now, let me see if I can show you guys. That right there is, that yeah, finger that way right there. Uh, this is an EV Connect charger, all right? You can see the logo right here, all right? EV Connect charger, and everything is working. You see, let me see if I can zoom in. Nope, other way, right there. So that's showing that my car is charging the bolt is charging it has the status right there all right and then if i flip you around here right there you can see that the bolt is charging all right fast charging i got about 15 minutes left hopefully you can see that all right it's a little cold here in texas right now so it's going to get me to 80 percent and then I'll be good to go. It's not gonna be my full over 200 miles range because once it's colder, when it's colder, you don't get your uh, full expected charge level with EVs. But what I wanted to make this video for is because like, this is one of the issues that, that come with, with EVs. And I've had this bolt now since September so let's what's that five six months um i love it i love this bolt i absolutely love it i love the fact that for the most part i don't like i do have another car i do have my old school car but i don't have to go to a gas station but maybe once a month maybe if if that because i only drive my oldsmobile now on the weekends so there's going to be a lot of the maintenance and things that you have to do with a regular gas car I'm never going to have to do that with this. I'll probably have to get my tires rotated here shortly, but oil changes, all that kind of stuff, never going to have to do it, right? I love that I can just top off overnight if I need to, plug it in at the house, going about my business the next day, 
those days that I drive the Oldsmobile on the weekend, I usually charge the Bolt up, this car up at the house and charge it for like a day or so. And I don't, I don't mind that, right? I love it. But this whole, if I'm in a pinch and I need that charge point charge station or uh, EV go or some of these places, I need them all to work like right then, right as expected. I need it all to work. And that one yesterday, luckily I had enough, uh, I had enough range that I could make it home. It was, it was just more me wanting to top it off and try out the charge station just to cover me a little bit better. But, uh, luckily I had enough range, but if I was like, oh man, I only got like, you know, 20 miles and I need to top off so I can get to the house. I would have been stuck. I would have been stuck. And I, I don't like that part. And I don't like that. Some of them just don't work as expected. Now that's a, that's a rare case so far. Cause I have used this one a lot and it usually works every single time. There's another one like right around the corner here. And that one works. That one's a level two charger. It actually charged really fast for a level two, but there's one like right down the, or around the corner. It's a level two. But then there's also another one. I believe that one is, it might be an EV connect, but I can't connect to that one. And then uh, there's one that is at an outlet mall about two hours away, hour and a half away. That one connects instantly. And um, I forget the name of that one. It starts with an L or something. Um, but it's at the uh, outlet mall. I think Shell just bought that one actually. But that one worked instantly. I just want consistency. That's what I want with my, my EV charge experience. I want to be able to just go wherever I, I need to go and connect, plug in, boom, come up to one of these, pull up and connect instantly and not have to worry about it. But right now I have to worry about it. So beyond that, and, you know, there was commercials last night in the Super Bowl talking about range anxiety. You start getting range anxiety in these kind of situations. If I know I can get to a charge station and I'm going to plug it in and it's going to work instantly, perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. But or, you know, knowing if I can make it to the house, that's cool because I can plug in. And I'm not going to worry about it. Just like I did yesterday. Once I got to the uh I once, once I left Lawton, Oklahoma and got from that charge station to my house, I just got home and plugged in and I was good to go. Right now, I'm just kind of filling up here because it's fast. It's a fast charger. So I wanted to have a little bit more range than what my uh, level one was giving me at the house. But um, stuff like that gives you range anxiety. Beyond that, I love the cars. I love EVs. I'll never buy another gas car again. I will never buy one again. And I know me saying some of this stuff is going to have people like, well, damn, I'm not going to ever buy a, uh, an electric car because all the charge stations don't work. No, nah, I, I will never buy another gas car again. Never. This is this is my future. I'm, I'm buying EVs from here on out. But there are things that can improve to make the experience a little bit better. That's that's the point. That's that's my overall point is that there are things that can be done to make the overall experience a little bit better, to take it up a notch, man. I just want to be able to hit any charge station and know they will work and not have to be like, well, EV goes work perfectly or the Electrify Americas work perfectly, but charge point, not so much. So that's it, man. I just wanted to make a quick video discussing my experience yesterday with the charge point man get that one together that seemed like that was the only one in the area too walton get that one together hopefully that one can get fixed and it work as expected next time but that's gonna do it thank you all for watching if you tuned in and i'll holler at y'all in the next video peace